So there are seven pro prophetic uh, uh, profiles. And the profile that is talked about when we talk about the great falling away is the church of Ephesus. We've already gone over that. And the church of Ephesus started out right, but then they fall. They, uh, Jesus said, go back to where you have fallen. We know that Second uh, Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 3 talks about the great falling away. And that is right before the Antichrist comes. So we know that there is a timeline of the falling away and then the rapture and the Antichrist. And so when we talk about the falling away, we're talking about God's people. And we are not talking about they are falling away into the clubs, into the bars. We are not talking about that. Don't have that mentality where you think that the great falling away is people of God going back and living a life of sin. People of God. There will always be people that backslide into the world. There will always be people that backslide into the world system. There will always be people that are praising God on Sunday and then on Saturday night they're in the club. Friday night they're in the club and this or that. And, and, and they dating the wrong people and sleeping with this person, that person, in and out. There will always be people like that. But the great falling away are the church who are looking like they're righteous, looking like they're holy, looking and sounding, and they have great praise and worship, and they are in church right now, sitting down right now, listen to preacher right now. And so what happens is, is they 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 leave their first love. They're doing everything right, but they left their first love. They're doing everything right, but they left their first love. They're doing a lot of things right, I should say that, but they left their first love. So if they don't love God, then they love something else. You cannot not love God and then not love something else. You, you can't do that. You're going to love something. Why? Because you and I are wired to love something. You're going to be passionate about something. You're going to crave something. You're going to be hungry for something. You're going to have something where you cannot get enough of. And if it ain't God, it's going to be something else. And they cannot get enough of control and power through politics. It is the church that merges itself with political power. To gain control over cultural, you know, cultural entities and cultural, uh, the culture and people. Okay? Are you hearing me today? Now, how do we know that? Because, let me tell you something about Ephesus. When we study about Ephesus, the city of Ephesus, Ephesus was an empire almost it was the city bustling commerce industry ephesus was the place to be ephesus was almost like a new york city are you hearing me today ephesus was like that but not only that it was the place where uh christianity was very prevalent it is the place where most of the apostles did guest speaking and traveling through in and out. I'm talking uh, Paul the Apostle and Timothy and John and oh, you you name it. They were there. They had churches and school. They had it. They had Ephesus was almost like Tulsa back in the in in the in the in the in the uh, 80s and 90s y'all remember that y'all remember that those that came out of the charismatic movement and so on and so forth Ephesus was the place where they had conferences Ephesus was that place and they were winning souls and doing great stuff but then they said you know what we need to make sure that people stay righteous. We need to make sure that people um, are, 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 are not evil or wicked. We need to make sure that the culture stays good. And the only way we can do this is if we gain control over the political sphere. This sounding familiar? 
and if we gain control so they merge themselves together and they begin to have a different gospel that was more legalistic and more law based and 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 they they instead of loving god they went to more hate and anger okay in fact rather than upholding the sanctity of its christian faith the church had largely sold out to political powers of the city did you hear me i said sold out out rather than shine as a beacon of christian faith hope and love the church of ephesus had aligned itself with the powers of darkness and embraced the vile nature of corrupt politics now this is all history this is all historical they were doing so much right and then they said we're going to bring in politics into the church and we're going to mingle them together as one and guess what they did they created a, another gospel if you don't if you don't align with us and our political side you're not really saved okay all right now, 